I am Niyola Yasinskiene. I am working in Anthony James lab. Today I am going to show you how to do microinjection into Aedes aegypti embryos for the purpose of getting transgenic mosquitoes. To get the um, embryos for microinjections, we need to have uh, females fed on the blood. Females are supposed to be fed on Thursday if you want to do a microinjection from Monday to Friday. This is Drosophila vial. I am taking the cotton and put in and pour the water. Cotton is supposed to be wet. And take 3 mm Wattman circle, put on the top. and push down. And I need to pour the water clean with napkin and close with cotton. This is ready. Right now I am going to collect six ten females and I transfer females to, to this drosophila while and I'm going to put them into dark conditions and put in the chamber which has 27 degrees Celsius for one hour and 15 minutes. I am making uh, needles for microinjection using glass needles. And we are using uh, the puller Shuttle Instrument Corporation and model P87. I place the glass needle into the ring and fix from both sides. Close the lid and push pull. Needle is ready. Now I'm going to show you how to do beveling of the needles. The needles after pulling are closed and uh, we need to open the needles. There are two ways to do it. One way is beveling and another way just touch the embryo before uh, injections. Okay, this is beveling way. I have the needle and fix this needle here. Here is a uh, unbeveled tip. We cannot use for microinjection this tip. For microinjection we need uh, to have open tip. This is the wheel. I try to touch the surface of the wheel with the needle end. The needle tips have to touch the surface of the wheel. When the tip touch the surface, you have to put wheel on. Here you can see the needle is ready for microinjection. The, the needle tip uh, is beveled. 
and you can see that the tip is shining this, this means the needle is open and ready for microinjection. Uh, remember just the end of the tip have to be broken if you make a big hole the needle is not good. The hole have to be very small. One hour and 15 minutes passed and embryos should be ready for microinjections. I'm taking from the chamber. Take a while and you can see the embryos are a black dots on the paper. And right now I'm transferring females to the cage. Just let them fly in. Now I'm going to show you the tools that I'm going to use uh, for lime and embryos. These forces I am using to take X paper from uh, vial. These forces I am using uh, to do line of the uh, embryos. The scissors we need uh, to cut uh, double stick tape and uh, these forces I am using uh, to take out eggs after microinjections. This is the cover slip. Uh, to this cover slip I attach uh, double stick tape to pick up embryos from the Watman paper. Now I'm going to align embryos. Well, first I'm taking X paper from the vial. You have to remember that uh, paper all time have to be wet. I am going to line embryos from gray to dark gray. This is good stage for injection. Don't take white embryos and black. All embryos have to be in the same orientation. They have two poles, anterior and posterior. We are going to inject in posterior end. Anterior mm, side is a little bit wider than posterior. This is cover slip. I am going to make uh, a cover slip ready to pick up embryos. For this, I need double stick tape attached to the cover slip, cut edges. And cover slip is ready. Right now, I need to, to dry X paper very well because if embryos are wet they never stick to the tape. For this I am using dry 3mm Watman. Right now I am taking cover slip and double stick tape and press to the embryos very slightly and I have embryos on the cover slip and right now is desiccation step. Desiccation step will mostly have to wait in this position about one minute maybe but you have to look by microscope and you can see the X start to shrink. These embryos are desiccated. You can see the dimples and uh, 
when you see these dimples, you have to put oil immediately and stop desiccation. When embryos are desiccated, you have to put oil immediately. Embryos are ready for microinjection, and I'm putting line embryos on the stage. And I'm going to fill needles with DNA. For this, I'm using uh, Eppendorf pipette and uh, loading needle, also from Eppendorf, from here. And I'm taking my DNA, taking 1.5 microliter, and load in the needle. And I fixed needle to the holder. And holder is connected to the microinjector. We are using uh, Eppendorf microinjector, which is called Femtojet. Now I'm ready to inject the embryos. For this purpose, we are using uh, Mm. Injection pressure 600, back pressure 250, and time is manual. Right now I see very perfect embryos in the under microscope, and after that I move needle in, and also I have to see very perfectly and focus needle in the microscope. After that, I put back embryos and can see embryos and needle in the same field. And right now, attach needle very close to the posterior end of the embryos. And I am doing injection to the posterior end of the embryos. And the first, uh, what I'm doing, the first, I have to see very clear uh, embryos in the microscope. I move the stage of the uh, microscope and always keep uh, the, the needle not moving. Good injection, the perfect injection, when you see the posterior end and you reach a needle, touch the posterior end and you penetrate it and you cannot see any shrunk of the X, any shrunk like that, if you do like that, it's not very good, but if the X still in the position like this and you penetrate the needle, okay. it means your needle is very good and injection is very good. After microinjection, I need to transfer the embryos in, in the wet conditions. For this, I'm using plastic chamber with wet cotton on the bottom and uh, Watman paper. I put this on the cotton and be sure that this paper is wet. This is ready. I'm taking my forceps. I am taking the embryos under oil and putting on the wall on the paper. Please don't put on the bottom because oil have to go down from the embryo. And I am taking two, three, five embryos in, in one time or one. It's also okay. Now I am going to prepare embryos to be ready for insectory. 
for this I am taking can wipe cover the embryos and fix with rubber and this is ready for insectory for five days next we keep in the insectory four five days and after that we're going to hatch this embryo and get uh, transgenics now i'm in the insectory and i'm going to show you how to get hatch the embryos and uh, the first i'm going to pour water in the plastic chamber and add the food couple drops take the embryos which uh, stayed in uh, insectory food five days take the egg paper do small hole and put embryos down that's it Embryos start hatch after first week, in the first week, and also some uh, embryos start hatch after four weeks. And uh, we have always in the same cage different stages of larva and and pupae. I just have showing for you how to do micro injection into Aedes aegypti embryos. And I want to say three steps is very important in this procedure. You have to make very good needles. You have to pick up embryos in the right stage. And desiccation have to be done also very precisely, not too much. In about four weeks, we will have transgenic mosquitoes.